Well, hello there, kids. It's me, Billy Ray Bible Thumper. No, it's not. It's actually me, Pastor Young, kids. And I'm here with another Salvation Short. Remember, these little episodes are where we handle some, you know, kind of tough topics in the Bible. And what do we do in this situation? And how are we saved? And all that great stuff. We're here to answer your questions, okay? And today's topic is this. Okay, so I've repented. Now what? Right? Or I got baptized. Now what? But today I really want to talk about, so I got the Holy Ghost. Now what? Right? It's important that we understand that God's not done with you just because you go through the steps that Peter told us in Acts chapter 2 and verse 38. Right? So what I'm saying is you can't repent and then say, okay, I'm done. Nope. Well, that means you probably need to get baptized, right? In Jesus' name. Yeah. And then keep going. Right? Well, let's say you got baptized. You can't just say, okay, now I've been baptized, I'm done. Nope, nope, nope. you got to keep going, kids. You, you're going you're gonna to need to get the Holy Ghost, right? That's what Peter said. And then today we want to talk about if you've gone through all three of those, you've repented, you've been baptized in Jesus' name, and then you've gotten the Holy Ghost, and you've decided, I've, I want to live for God, and I've gone through those steps. Now what do I do? Well, kids, did you know that God doesn't just want to fill you with the Holy Ghost? But now it's the fun part. Now you get to learn what it means to walk with God. This is being baptized and being filled with the Holy Ghost. That's just being born again of water and spirit, right? But we don't want to stay just babies, right? Who would want to live their whole life as a baby and just wah, wah, wah all the time? No. You don't want to be like that. You want to grow in the Lord. So now that's what you do, right? Whenever I've received the Holy Ghost, I've been baptized, I've repented. When I get through that whole process, now it's time for me to grow in the Lord. So how do I do that? Well, I'll tell you, one of the biggest things that you need to do, one of the first things that you need to do is you're going to have to find those things or maybe people or maybe habits, or maybe places. You're going to need to find those things that will try to pull you back to your old life, and you got to snip, snip. What Pastor Young is saying, kids, is you need to look at your life now, and you need to ask yourself, okay, let me look at all my friends. Do, does this group of friends help me live for God? Did they help me pray, and do they help me live a good life and a right life? Or does this group of friends actually pull me back towards who I used to be? Do I lie whenever I'm around these friends? Do I steal whenever I'm around these friends? Do I cuss whenever I'm around these friends? Kids, if the answer to any of those was yes, snip, snip. You're going to have to pick to live for God rather than to live for those friends, okay? So you need to examine your friends. You need to look at them and ask yourself, even when you're around them, you need to ask yourself, do they make me want to live for God or do they make me want to live for this world? And if they make you want to live like you used to live, kids, I'm just, I love you enough to be honest with you. You need to find new friends. Pastor Young, how in the world do I find new friends? Well, I'll tell you, Billy Bible Thumper, you look around right now. You got, everybody look around. Guess what? The beautiful part about going to a church is that every single Sunday, we put you in a room full of people that want to live for God. This is the perfect place for you to start in finding better friends, in finding good friends, okay? So, you know, hey, Maybe you need to take a, a, just a moment to, you know, get up next to somebody and be like, hey, I need friends, and I need good friends, and would you be my friend? Kids, there's nothing wrong with doing that. In fact, that's what you need to do. Did you know that the Bible, uh, Paul says this, he says, we need to lay aside the sin. Yeah, we already did that, right? We repented, we were baptized. 
but he also says, and the weight that so easily will trip us. Uh-oh. You see, because some people, some places, some, thi some things are not necessarily sins. I'm not saying that you're sinning just by being friends with these people, but they can be weights, meaning these can be things that are holding me back and I'm dragging them along as I'm trying to walk with God. It would be so much better for you if you could change friends and get around people that want to end up in the same place that you do and that want to live for God like you do, okay? So I've given you your first step on what to do after you get the Holy Ghost and how to make sure that you'll be successful in walking with God. I'll see you next time for another awesome Salvation Short. Pastor Young out. Whew.